Ready to go. Okay, need a bunch of metric sockets. And now this one's 13. Usually they're 12. Not original. Didn't think so. Seat's not bad besides these. Only damage. Not bad for a 96. You gotta have uniform hardware, especially for the plastics. It's the first thing you see, the first thing you take off. It's gotta look good. Yeah, not strict, but it's not great. Not in as good a shape as the 2000 over there. That one over there is in a little nicer shape. I actually paid less for it, if you would believe it or not. But anyways, let's get back to this. I'm going to loosen the bottom ones off. Actually, I'm going to take it right off. So, silencer. the right thread. I might be fixing that. Amazing I didn't leak. But it didn't. Yeah, that was the wrong thread. I'm going to be fixing that. Uh, Which is an 8 mil. Get it. 
that's not too bad. Okay. Who were these ones? Allen Key. So that's about the where to go. I have one out somewhere. There we go. See this clamp here? You want to be able to have it as loose as you need it to get it to move back like that. So there's no more pressure on here. So it should, in theory, just come right apart. That is my guess. Got nothing else holding. Let's just give her a yank. Oh, there goes the clamp. But we got her. I think I might give this thing a bit of a bath too, eh? Yeah, man. I think so. She's a little dirty. It obviously got rode. But he restored it, did a whole bunch of work to it, put a bunch of money into it, and then rode it for summer. So it isn't brand new. It's been used. But she's pretty decent. For a 96, I'm happy enough with it. I'll clean it up. So anyways, that's taken off the subframe, airbox, blah, blah, blah. Opens everything up. I can get right at the carb from every angle. Get at the shock, inspect it. See how much slack she's got. Actually, I want to adjust it. That's one thing I want to do too while I'm in here. I want it tighter. It's got a little too much sag for me. I'm a short guy, you'd think I'd want it lower, but for whatever reason, I got used to riding bikes, full-size bikes, jacked up, stiff suspension, I got used to it, right? So, it's how I ride them. I ride 125s with a suspension, not jacked, but no sag. So, when you drop the back end, it doesn't sink, it just sits. You put a little weight on it, and then yeah, you can push it down, but it should recenter itself to the top. That's the way I like to do it. Other guys are different. A lot of guys like them sagging down more and they got more upswing and whatever. It's a matter of preference and style and whatever. It's just how I do it. And this one is a little too saggy. So I'm going to tighten it up. Make another video of that in a second here. <laughs> 